newborn examinations are essential for ensuring the immediate and long-term health of the baby, offering both preventive care and early intervention where necessary. Newborn examinations are crucial for several reasons. Number one, early detection of health issue. Newborn exams help identify any congenital conditions, physical abnormalities, or health concerns early. This allows for prompt treatment or intervention, improving the child's long-term health outcomes. Number two, prevention of future problems. By identifying potential health issues, early newborn examinations can prevent future complications. For example, early detection of hearing or vision problems allows for interventions that can prevent developmental delays. Number three, parental reassurance and education. Newborn examinations give parents reassurance that their baby is healthy. Number four, these initial examinations establish a medical record for the child, which is important for tracking the baby's health over time and for future medical care. Dr. Zafir with you and you are watching my informative vlog. Good morning, sisters. How are you? How is your baby doing? This is the first complete examination of a newborn before sending to the mother. Good. Thank you. Now, before examining the baby, just observe about the color, activity, cry, any noisy sounds. And before baby cries, you start auscultating the heart about the abnormal sounds of the heart, heartbeat and rate. And just check both sides of the chest about the lungs and the air entry. Then you start examining the baby. Before examining the baby, remove the diaper or open the diaper completely and examine from head to toe. Now put your hands and start examining the head anterior fountain and posterior fountain and any soiling and then after that you check the moro reflex. Then come to the abdomen, check gentle abdomen, palpate very gently, check the umbilical cord. Then you pull the limbs gently and start examining both hips one after another. After examining the hips, just palpate the both femoral pulses and after palpating femoral pulses, check the genitalia. If he's a boy, check the testicles about the, uh, whether the testicles are in the scrotum, check anus and then you check the any deformity of the foot. Then finally you examine the back, any midline defect, any soiling and check the tone of the baby and then put the baby back to sleep, dress up the baby and send to the mother. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for watching my informative vlog. If you like this video, please subscribe and share.